Hello everyone, welcome to the 7th episode of Hobby in a Box. So today what we are going to do is we are going to upcycle things. I went to my friend and I literally out of his trash dug out this frame. So this is actually back of the frame, the cover and the glass it just broke. As you can see the frame from the back side it, it is completely fine. So now I am thinking what should I do on the front side. One thing is I can do quilling, I can do suspeso, but I am not, you know, I am not willing to do so much of an effort. So I am thinking to make this into chalkboard or blackboard. The first step in chalkboard painting is to protect your surface area. So as usual, we will use the newspaper to protect our area. The second step is to protect your hands. I usually don't do this. But last night I did, I did, I used chalkboard paint without gloves and it was a mess. So you have to, have to use gloves for this project. I am using for this project Asian Paints Blackboard Paint and a foam brush. You can use a bristle brush but I prefer to use foam brush because it does not leave the streaks. So this is how the chalkboard, your chalkboard paint will look. Since this area is, oops, since this area is pretty rough, we will directly apply the chalkboard paint. If the area is not rough, you can use sandpaper to make it little rough. While applying the paint, you must take care that all the strokes are in one direction. I have done one coat of the paint and as you can see it's not very clear and it's not very polished. So what we'll do is we'll do two coats in this direction which is horizontal and one coat in the vertical direction. It will mask all the irregularities that you can see right now. So as of now you have to leave it to dry for about 30 to 45 minutes. Now this frame has dried up and you can see the coat is not even. Although you can write with chalk on it, but it still won't have an even coat and, and it won't look perfect. So for that we are going to do another coat on top of it. As you can see the second coat is dried, but you can see there are streaks. So now to counter it we are going to paint in this direction. I am going to let it dry, but in the meantime I will wash my brush and my hands although I used glove but still with the turpentine oil and do remember to use turpentine oil only outside after three coats it is finally done and as you can see the finishing is also really good now we will prime it I say prime it basically we will take a chalk and rub it sideways so that the whole surface that was painted with chalkboard paint is covered with chalk dust. We do this so that the paint is not sticky anymore and we can use chalks with it. You can easily remove the chalk dust with cotton. Go it once then second to remove the excess dust. If you do not have a good handwriting then I'll show you a trick. Uh, sorry for the paper. So for example I have printed out the font which says out my name and let's say I want to print M and I do not have a good handwriting so what I do is basically I rub the chalk piece on the back of the paper put it somewhere like this and then with my pencil I draw out the outline of M. So now can you see this there is a faint outline of M and I am going to fill this. Now I have filled the outline of the M and I don't even need a good handwriting to achieve that. With all the fun and all the mess here I am with my to do chalkboard and I have so many things to do. I have to edit this video and create a new video for you guys next week. And the last point is for you guys. 
do go and subscribe it's a red button down below subscribe to the channel because we make videos every week and see you next saturday bye